they'll walk to the first station, they always walk together, and the chaperone follows behind at a slight distance with the megaphone. Uh, when they get to the first station, uh, it will tell them to whisper, one of them to whisper a secret into the other one's ear, and then that other person has to tell the secret in first person into the megaphone. If the secret's good enough, there'll be sample secrets at each station. The chaperone gives them a stamp, and they stamp each other's hands. The they little, progress. like, cute heart. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the whole thing is, like, themed, like, high school, cute awkwardness. Awkward. I mean, that's that's why the chaperone was there. Yeah. Cute awkwardness. Is that the name of the game? <laughs> yeah. 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 Cute awkwardness. <laughs> <laughs> they then progress a level in their relationship. Each time they progress a level, every couple levels, they gain yeah. a new ability. So, so the first, first one is from now on you have to hold hands. And the next station, another few stations, they are allowed to talk. Um, and then around station three or four, they are led to the park. So station four would be in the park, for example. Uh, and then from now on, they look at each other. And every station, they share. They have to whisper a secret and say it in the microphone. And the stakes of the secrets increase each time yeah. as well. So if you don't tell a good enough secret, you don't get your stamp. We kind of encourage the idea that you can lie because it creates this weird dynamic where you don't know what's the truth. You know what's a lie. And um, it could be also interesting for couples that have known each other for a very long time because then they go like, I think that's the true truth, but maybe it isn't, or like, I think that's a lie, but maybe it isn't. Also um, negotiating the stakes of who whispers and who says the thing into the microphone, it'll start with silent communication, and then turn into talking, but you kind of want to protect someone from telling a secret, or you want to make them tell the secret. Uh, or you can go like, oh, I really don't want to embarrass Eileen, so I'm going to come up with this, like a fake secret that is like very like mundane. Or I want to embarrass Eileen, who will lead, read it out in the megaphone. So I'm gonna because she's reading it out saying I. Yes. yes. It says oh, the first person. So I could like tell her a secret that is going to be like very humiliating for her to, to say it in the megaphone. Yeah. So the end of the game, the last station is this bench that we picked up in the park. A park. It's very cinematic. Very nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> you sit down on the bench. They're told to tell the worst thing they've ever heard when broken up with. Yes. They whisper that to the person, and that person reads it into the megaphone, gets up, walks away, and has to walk back through the path that you walked on the way yeah. there. Yeah, it's back to the guest station. We were thinking it would be nice if we could, like, take photos, like, pull When the couple starts. The and then put them up along the way so they have to walk back through there. Yeah. I think maybe, we'll like, change. station five, when they're, like, the happiest, they yeah. take a picture, the chaperone takes a oh, picture. Oh, yeah. And, and, it's then like, <laughs> and then bam, break up, and we just put their happy picture up on the like next to your starting point. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, a bit like the creepiness of the game yesterday, when the waiter out of the blue yeah. just pulls out the ribbon <laughs> you know, for no reason at all. Uh, the chaperone sometimes can, out of the blue, lift the megaphone and just say something extremely embarrassing about himself or herself without really being clear whether that's something that they heard before or whether it's something they just felt like sharing um, <laughs> to create that. When it's it basically when the couple is not so awkward now, they're actually finding a flow, then there's a new awkwardness introduced by this third creepy person who wants to share as well. It's called the creepy game. Creepy game. <laughs> We really want to really, really, really wanna do a playtest to see like the rhythm, the dynamic, how long it takes, you know, like it, maybe it's a five minute game, maybe it's a 25 minute game, maybe it's really boring, maybe it's like accelerating enough, like we really need to like try it out to, to be able to tell. I yeah. would imagine that it would be cool to have, to get both a handicap and a level, mm. like, but that's just, because yeah. that's often yeah. how video games work, because is that they give a new challenge and a yeah. new ability to overcome. Yeah, when you're in a relationship, there are things that are making your life easier, but there are things that are making your life worse. Like holding hands is kind of like, oh, uh, okay. Uh, so, like holding hands all the time. <laughs> so, like these like step back and forth things, helping communication, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, we definitely don't have like we didn't look into those details. What exactly the station will be? Your suggestions mm -hmm. are welcome. Yeah. Want to be the taxi for sure. Yeah. And uh, taxi will be one of the stations. Want to be the bench for sure. Yeah. Bench for sure. And if, yeah, swings. Yeah. Oh, sorry, swings. <laughs> and yeah. 